It's no problem. And uh, <laughs> this one. Okay. Mm. Okay, I'm Gianluca Vita. I'm from the Politecnico di Milano. I am. What? Yes, it's in Italy, in Milan. And uh, I, I begin to use and, um, Blender from, for new, many years ago uh, in my courses that I have uh, in Politecnico in Milan. And uh, we, we start uh, more or less eight years ago, and my courses are um, made with, uh, for computer design. And uh, we are interested to teach to the students, more the architects, to use the 3D as a tool for project, not just a tool for show the project, but uh, to make the project. The 3D model is a, a tool that you have to use to be a project, not to make the, the project. The project is not a toothpaste. You don't have to make the project so and then to tell the, the project with the 3D. But 3D is the tool that you use. For uh, Blender users, it's normal. But for the students of architecture, it's not so normal because they use computer and drawings at, at the end just to make the rendering of the project that they need. And uh, I'm here to speak about uh, some problem that I see in this year with uh, all the students and all the newcomers. Uh, the free argument that, that I want uh, to speak for you is uh, how newcomers approach to Blender. Every one of us know that Blender is not easy and don't have to be easy. I understood this in these days and uh, is a, um, a correct idea that not have to be easy. But sometimes uh, we lose or you lose many users potential user. So what we can do about this? The second thing is uh, architectural desktop. It's possible to think, uh, to imagine something that is useful for architects. Architects need measure, dimension. They think in a different way than uh, model Elsa and people that use, um, make uh, movies. So I can, we want to speak to this and then I want present just uh, for a few minutes, my workshop, 3D Coton Open 3D, that is a workshop that I made in Coton every year. And uh, we project using Blender. We make a course of Blender, and at the same time, the students make a project about uh, the smart city. And is, uh, for me, it's important because Blender is a, a 3D suite. Everything has, can be inside Blender and uh, um, the connection between the concept of smart city and the 3D modelers, I think that can be more interesting in future. Uh, I begin, okay. Everything starts with the courses that I do at Politecnico, innovative instrument of representation, representation technique, virtual space and visual communication. And uh, I begin to make these courses with uh, 3D Max, I think, many years ago, eight, ten years ago. But one day I change and I go on Blender because I think that university don't have to go with the normal software but has to go um, to the open source software. And I was uh, amazing, I was too happy because when I have to explain to newcomers, to people that never use 3D modelers uh, before. When I have to explain how it's work, uh, when I use Blender, it's very, very, very easy. Because before I have to open a window, well, I don't speak about 3D Max, eh, but I, speak, I was using that. Open a window, open another window, it was uh, cr crazy. With Blender, every time I have to explain something, I have to say, go there and click this. And this for explaining is very, very useful. And uh, in this course, we, I have a community. We have a Facebook community. It's a page on Facebook that every year the students subscribe this page. At uh, this moment, we have more or less 850 students, participants. And we, we um, share our world work and the classwork and homework uh, in, this, uh, in this community. 
And if some one of you want to be involved or want to subscribe this, they ask some time, they make questions, we try to respond, is where we connect with the student of this year and with the student of the past years. And uh, I show to you some model, something that the students make in some years. Um, most of the students are starting from a zero level, so from scratch. They really don't know nothing about uh, the works. So obviously are not works of the quality that you're used to, to show in this, uh, in this convention, but in my opinion for, the, for people that begins to, to, to use uh, the 3D software, and mostly that don't want to use the 3D software, but have to use it. Have because today for making to be architect, you have to know to use some software or some 3D software. And, but what is important is the choice. Uh, that they made. I show you some pictures again. Old works. Uh, okay. And some about from architectural designs and the grass is very important. And so this was. And some use Blender for a uh, worker with uh, photo modeler. They made sometimes, this is not in this course, but it's for the uh, thesis. Uh, they made photo modeling and then uh, um, work uh, with it for renderings and for uh, uh, adjusting the, um, the mesh inside Blender. And I show to you just very fast uh, a little movie and I think that. Uh, no, it is just photo modeling. Um, using Photoscan or some similar and they make the model and then uh, not uh, they don't work or they work very little on the mesh they just uh, fill the holes and do some some little work but uh, I think this too is uh, is a very interesting kind of work okay I go back on this Okay, then, in these days I have uh, new students and I have an idea of what they think. But I make a little question, a little test. And stupid question, but for me maybe it's important. Uh, is Blender cool? This is a surprise, you know? Very good uh, answer, I think. And uh, is easy? They don't think it's easy at the beginning. And, uh, is powerful, yes, very much. Okay. But what I, what for me is a problem is that, is when I ask what software have you tried before, is the answer is this. Okay, everyone more or less have tried using this. I speaking about 100 students more or less. And everyone never, or one of two, tried to use Blender, but to use uh, this software. And maybe they know that, okay, it's weak, it's not powerful, but they use it. And I ask to myself, why? Maybe because they have what, all that you need in life. You have a referment system, XYZ, you can see. You have an horizon, a place where you have to go, you have a girlfriend to go with. This is. For me, there is a, but I'm joking, but maybe it's not so, um, so stupid thing. It's a joke, but uh, I think that opening that, they find something that they can play with, and they begin to play, and I think this is the most reason. Okay, there is other reason, it's Google, there is many reasons, but um, I see that there is, this thing I call the climber learning, uh, learning. Uh, three kind of students. They learn uh, and then they don't use it. They learn and they use it so, and they learn uh, the yellow one, and they grow up uh, very better than me. Like uh, Giovanni, for example, that began with me years ago, and now is one of the master of the course. Uh, so, the climb of learning, um, Blender, as Everyone who know, 
every one of us know, as when you open it, uh, it's so difficult to, to see. But uh, the approach, uh, you see so many buttons, and so they, they scare. Obviously, when you have a course, uh, you oblige it to, to learn. They have to learn, so you begin, and in four hours, they make a nice rendering. But nice rendering seems uh, good lighting, uh, good modeling, nice modeling. Uh, um, I begin with cycles immediately. But the, after two hours, they are making a box uh, with a monkey, uh, with a plane, with three lights, with something interesting. So it's not a problem, in my opinion. Hmm? of uh, the, the, the use of Blender, uh, but just the uh, beginning is uh, scaring. And so the people try or the software. So my um, very, 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 um, of in Italian, uh, modesta opinione, my, I'm here to learn and not to teach, is that maybe can someone can invent something like a, a playground, I don't know, a kindergarten. In some places, maybe a button in this splash page where you uh, you press and there is something that is more simply, more simplified. And you can begin to play with some object, uh, with some big uh, buttons and with something uh, very, very, very simple. So you can be attracted to learn uh, the software. And uh, as I say, um, I understood in these days that this is software that is thinking for artists, and artists need complicated and powerful software. It's not, uh, there is nothing uh, different. But I, say, I think that maybe a, a kindergarten, some kind of kindergarten can be useful for beginning. For the, the, the one that don't have someone that says to you, okay, now to you have to learn. First, yes. Uh, Ton mentioned that uh, Blender 101 project uh, it, uh, will be a simplified interface with uh, no buttons and uh, which could be used uh, in, in schools, uh, kindergartens, and I, I think it's what, what you, you're talking about. Yes, yes, I, I hear that, but uh, in the first day I was there, here for the first time, he said, okay, the interface is so, and I think, okay, now what I say. And then he said that, that too. So I am very happy about the second part. Otherwise, if the, he don't say that, uh, I erase this slide for sure. For... And uh, second problem, uh, I work with architects, designers, but more architects. And this is the rendering for our architect. This is an old draw of Frank Lloyd Wright uh, about the Guggenheim Museum in New York, and how think architects? The architect thinks uh, at least in two dimensions. They have to work in three dimensions, but all the school that today we have for young architects is based on two-dimensional uh, drawings. This is a perspective, but at the end is two-dimensional drawing. It's a planar perspective. Um, in Italian, is a conica planare. Um, blender and the photographer and the cameras work with uh, una prospettiva conic. I don't know exactly the word in English, but and this is the what they train the the kind of drawings that at the beginning they have to do. Obviously, today we have different architecture. We have Zadid, we have uh, Frank, uh, we have uh, Ogeri. You know. The, the architecture that seems potatoes and spaghetti and this kind of thing. But um, most in Italy, I think in the North of Europe is a diff little bit different. They work for one on 100 can work with the strange uh, shapes, um, the grasshopper shapes. But uh, they live all their life um, with plan and section. Because normal architect has to work at the level where you have to speak with uh, um, with the people that uh, you have to communicate with, plan and section. So they think in this way, and 
other problem, they begin work uh, using AutoCAD. So they think that a uh, used computer is using AutoCAD. They begin by himself and they try, they need to make lines. So, uh, um, where is the problem? They ever asked me dimension. The first day, oh, professor, how, how can I manage the dimension? How can I measure it? I didn't have dimension. I don't have dimension. It's something that makes to me crazy more than the other thing. And the answer is this exercise. This is uh, the, um, a building of uh, um, Miss Van der Rohe. And we make an exercise to model this. This is very simple because everything is a 90 degree. And uh, I use this, um, this system that I think is very clear for you. I, is let, I import a uh, 2D dimensional um, draw. And the, the XFM portal now is very improved in these days. And uh, it's very good work they did. And I, select, uh, I say to select a vertex and then extrude X, Y, or Z, the axis, and the number, the quantity of the extrusion. I don't know if I want, you want, I explain, I show to you, but I think is I show. Okay, no, I don't know if it's, it's I think is enough clear, no? Okay, e, this is okay, now you're free. Now make, put the axis, Z, and then the dimension, 23, and I make the line. Now, it's very similar to what they do in, in the software that they, they learn normally before the 3D modeler. But, and so, the, it's work. After one lesson or two lessons, some hours, so they can manage this, because uh, it's very fast. And when you draw, when you make uh, a relief of a plan of some uh, houses, you work in this way, more or less. You make the draw, and then the dimension you put exactly in this way. And so it's very effective. It's worked very well, but the interaction more for newcomers is not so easy. It's simple to do, but you have to modificate something. It's not so so fine. So the idea can be to have some interface, something that you can put there that help you to to manage the dimension. I don't know what. I'm not here to. To learn, but maybe to speak with you if you're interested uh, of what can, what is possible to do, if it's possible, if it's interesting, as at on uh, or some uh, some different thing. Yes, I see that there is a cycle on uh, on, on rhinoceros in the future, but I am not sure that is the the correct answer. Why? Why? My hope uh, is that the students of architecture go out from the two-dimensional thinking and go inside the world of the three-dimensional thing. Because um, the, the, the project they made is obviously come from his mind, but from the interaction with the tool. And the classical two-dimensional um, software, uh, vectorial software, are make it's an old way. It's like to to project uh, on the technographer on the table, but uh, just with the computer. And uh, otherwise, this kind of tool, like a blender or some similar, is a different way of thinking. So for me, it can be important uh, that in the future they work with a more sophisticated tool and not just thinking in two-dimensional way. So, if it's possible we can uh, speak on this. And um, at the end, the third thing, I wanted to show to you the, the workshop that we made uh, in Cortona every year. is uh, a workshop that where it's one week, the student come. This year I'm very happy because uh, there was 70 students. And they come in the city of Cortona, that is uh, in the center of Italy, and they make a project uh, with Blender, they have a course of Blender, and they learn uh, the software. From the, we have two sessions, the basic and the advanced. The, one of the professors of the advanced is here, is Giovanni. And I hope next year to make the, 
uh, more advanced uh, version of uh, the course. And uh, they make a project that is a project connected with the um, argument of the smart city. Um, okay, you can see the city of Cortona is here in the center between Fiorenza and Roma, a beautiful place. This is the city, it's a very little city inside the walls, the ancient walls of the Etruscan uh, before the, uh, the Roman. So it's a very old city and it can be strange to make a project on the smart city on this kind of city. But I think it's very interesting this, to go in some ancient or historical city and to take the contemporary use uh, of the city and of the um, internet and this kind of thing. Um, ecco. This is me, this is one of the class we have. Uh, why is it important for me? Uh, as I said before, this tool that uh, they use to make a project change his way to make the project, change his mind. So for me it's important that they go there for make a project that connect the past and the future. Uh, what I mean? That to, um, the city today are not designed just by stones, by concrete, by roads, but are designed with different things that are all the things that we have in our laptop, in our devices, and we can make different use of the city, and the city is now, today, is a different thing. And so I, what I want uh, they learn and they try to understand is to make the project using a tool that can help this kind of compression. Um, I call this uh, smart city design because uh, the tool and the project are connected. The tool is nothing and uh, the mind is nothing but the connection between these two objects is very important and the project uh, comes from this and the innovation more comes from this. And I don't know what will be about the city in the future, but for sure uh, it's some, it will be something different. And I have an, an idea that uh, the suite of Blender that is making something more than a 3D modeler is something more connected, uh, the rigging, the, the modeling, the, the, the post-production, is something more connected with life than uh, with the 3D model. And so, I don't know how and why, uh, but I think there is some connection with the future of the city and the use of a software like Blender that is not, as I say before, a uh, modeler, but is a suite, something, is something more. Um, I show to you now some project that uh, they made. Mm, some is funny, some is more graphical. They have not so much time to make uh, projects, but uh, th these students too, most of them start from scratch, and so the result I think is can be some interesting. And uh, this was uh, a project for a diffuse uh, um, concert, a concert hall with uh, every um, player in a different place of the city connected. This is for a, a bench without Wi-Fi. You can go there and just thinking and looking or read a book. This was a project for uh, uh, give the Wi-Fi to all the city because obviously in Italy more you go to the south more you have problem to connect and to have uh, um, internet and this kind of stuff. This is a covering. Um, this is another project about the the building of the major covering for the place. Another piazza that can move and change, and that's uh, that's all for this. Obviously, if someone uh, is interested. You can, uh, we have, uh, I don't show you. Okay, this is the Facebook page of our workshop. I show you this, some funny things. There is, I'm very happy, as I say to you, that I take Blender to 
too too many people and uh, and too many students. I think that I have more than 1,000 people that try and that learn it and that make an exam with Blender in, the, in this year. So, oh, this can be interesting. And uh, um, for me, more or less is enough. And I think, I hope next year, maybe, to take to you the result of the workshop of this year and uh, next year, because it was not uh, on the target of the presentation of this. Uh, and uh, so I try to make everything that is my, my work in, this, uh, in these days. And it's all. Thanks. It's all. We have still some time for one question. Uh, what, what I didn't quite get, because you, you said um, they're thinking too much in 2D, uh, like the, the second point. And, and yes. what, I, what I wasn't sure about, do you mean that they already have an idea for a, an architectural design in their head, and in the way they are building this, they are thinking too much in 2D? Or do you mean that the design process in itself, which um, creates their vision, is too much rooted in 2D and but building layers that then make up a 3D thing? Uh, b both things. Uh, they they think at the project uh, beginning in the plan. So this is a problem of architecture. Then uh, in the past, uh, in the um, in the past was three dimensional. If you think to I don't know Palladio, I don't know. He think in three dimension before the the facade and then the plan. Today with the modern we make uh, we architect we made before the plan and then the facade. And the school teach this. And uh, for me, it's wrong, because today architecture is changing, and maybe in everyday life we make uh, this kind of project, but the project of today is something where the section and the plan is something that you can change. You can think to Frank Oguer, I did, uh, I don't know, the, uh, you for uh, Graz, you know, the, I call the big potato of Graz. So this is the architecture. And, so the school teach to think plan and then facade. And the software, the, uh, the software, uh, uh, vectorial software help and go in this way. And I think that we have to try to break this and to go in a world where the people, the people, the students, the architects are thinking directly in 3D. And the software as Blender can help very much in this, but um, for uh, to convince to use the students and the architect to use this software, uh, maybe they need a little bit help, like uh, the kindergarten and uh, the I call architectural desktop. Because otherwise, maybe before they understood that is useful, they change, and this is because they uh, minimal. We call it minimal sforzo con massimo risultato. And so sometimes we lose some good user for, uh, for this software and this way of thinking. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, thanks. thanks.